Hi there, uh, this is a video um, for GeoGebra Assignment 3. So let's go to www.geogebra.org backslash geometry. Um, you can type that in or the link is provided in your Google Classroom page. Okay, so make sure you are signed in. Um, all right, so today we're going to talk about rotations. All right, and so uh, let's first go into show axes. Uh, show grid and just the major grid lines, all right? Um, again, I'm going to make this right triangle here um, start at point 2, 1, um, 2, 5, and then 5, 1, okay? Um, those are my points uh, for A, B, and C, and then let's click on polygon to then draw in that triangle um, that we've got. All right, so then I'm going to click on the move button. I'm going to move these points um, outside of that, um, you know, kind of just get them out of the way. Um, and then let's click on more. Um, I want to click on the distance um, of these segments. And then... All right, so again, this is a three, four, five triangle. Uh, I'm going to move these guys outside of the triangle here. Okay, and that's what I've got there. All right, uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to measure each angle. So I'm going to click uh, find angle A that's 90 degrees. Um, angle B is 36.9, and then angle C is 53.1. All right, um, so knowing that, all right, let's go back up to move. Uh, I'm going to move these angle measures inside of my um, triangle here. Um, and then the last thing I want to do as far as measuring goes is measure the area. All right, so I'm just going to click on that, uh, and it just tells me that the area of triangle ABC is equal to six, okay? So uh, that's the one thing I want you guys to do is to make sure you have those those items in there uh, for this triangle, okay? All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna rotate this, okay? Um, and so let's go all the way down uh, to transform, okay? And what we wanna do is we want to rotate this figure around a point, all right? So rotate around a point, select object to rotate and center point, and then enter the angle. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the object, okay? Uh, select my center. Mm, hold on here, let's try this again. Uh, select object to rotate, and then center point, and then Okay, um, so when we want to do a rotation, um, sorry, I had to kind of got mixed up, had to get back in here. All right, what I want to do first is create a point um, that we're going to rotate around, okay? And so what I have here, uh, I'm going to click on this point here and create a new point called point D, all right? Uh, and this is going to be the, this is the origin and this is what we're going to rotate around. So what I want you to see here is that, um, all right, I'm gonna click on rotate around a point. So you have to create a point to rotate around. Uh, I'm gonna click on the figure that I want to rotate. So this triangle, ABC, uh, we're gonna rotate around point D, all right? So we're gonna rotate this around and we're gonna go counterclockwise here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go each of these by 90 degrees, okay? And then I'm just gonna click okay. And what happens is, is that this, um, triangle here gets rotated around this point 90 degrees to create triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. This is the image that is created. This is your pre-image, okay? Now, I'm going to do this again, all right? We're going to click rotate around a point. I'm going to click on my, um, my figure around point D, and... I'm going to do uh, another 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. I'm going to click OK. And this has created um, A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. OK. Um, 
And I'm going to do this again, rotate this again. Um, and so I'm going to click on the figure, click on my point, and we're going to rotate this another 90 degrees. And we're going to click OK. All right, so each of these are rotated 90 degrees. All right, now if I were to take this um, and let's rotate this uh, original figure, all right, um, and I'm going to rotate around a point. Let's say I want to rotate this 180 degrees. And all of a sudden, uh, you get this other triangle here. All right. Um, it, you know, doing a, a 90 degree rotation twice gives you 180 degrees. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click the undo button here to get rid of those ones and the twos. Uh, and then I'm going to do this and I'm going to take this triangle, uh, rotate it again around point D. And I'm going to do this by 270 degrees, all right? And I'm going to click OK. And what happens is, is that triangle then rotates around here. So 90 plus 90 gives you 180. 90 plus 90 plus 90 gives you 270, all right? Uh, I'm going to click Undo on that, all right? So um, notice that the side lengths of each of these triangles, and I'm going to move these around here so that they're not... Um, you know, all over the place, inside. I kind of like them outside. Um, what I want you guys to do is to now take these, um, and, and this is a level two, okay? So um, this, this uh, thing right here that you've created is a level two um, assignment. So if you got to this point, that's great. We'll just call it a level two. Um, so let's come in here and let's... Um, put in some text, all right? And so I'm gonna click on this guy here, and the text, uh, make sure you put your name, okay? In this case, uh, you know, my name is Joe Police. Um, we're gonna put the date, all right? And the date for today is the 29th, so 4-29-2020, okay? And then, um, you know, this is assignment three. So let's do GeoGebra assignment three. Okay, and then uh, for number one, uh, for a level two, uh, is to just do the drawing. So C drawing. All right, so if you're cool with a level two, um, that's what you would do. And we're just going to write C drawing. All right, make sure that's in there. Um, let's take a look at a couple of level three questions. All right, so number two, and this is a level three. Uh, and the first one is, I want you to list the points um, from A, B, C to A prime, B prime, C prime. Uh, and so list those out in this text box. And then what is the relationship between each point on ABC and its corresponding point A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, um, and so, you know, I want you to list out what are these coordinate points, what are the coordinate points um, for A prime, B prime, C prime, and then how are those you know, points related to each other. Okay, so answer that question for a level three. Uh, the third thing that I want you to do <clears throat> is uh, do the same thing. So except for, um, let's do, instead of A prime, B prime, C prime, I want A triple prime, B triple prime, and C triple prime, all right? All right, and what's the relationship between those? Okay, um, all right, and so triple prime. So answer the same question, um, but do it for A triple prime in relation to A prime, B prime, C prime. All right, so let me come in there. All right, uh, the next question, question four, um, is another level three question. And what this says is, um, what is the relationship between the side lengths 
and angles yeah, of each triangle on the page. Okay. So, you know, uh, find the side lengths, find all the angle measures. What's the relationship that you notice between A, B, C, and all of its images created by rotating? Okay. Um, the last question is a level four question. All right. And <clears throat> what I want you to do is to create any figure, um, rotate it. five times, okay, and have the final figure um, map back onto itself, okay, um, and then answer the question, what angle measure do you rotate by to make this happen, okay? Um, and so that's a level four question. Remember, level four questions are, uh, you know, take take the information that I've given you and um, figure out, um, you know, how to apply it to something new. So I'm going to click OK. All this stuff goes up here. Um, and you may want to create separate um, uh, text boxes for these. Um, you know, and that's okay. All right, what I'm going to then do is I'm going to save this um, as GeoGebra Assignment 3, okay? And I'm going to save, okay? That will save it to your profile, all right? Make sure you, you, you're using your Google um, account to do that, and then click the Share button, and that will generate a link Okay, copy that link and then submit that into your Google Classroom assignment. So that's it. All right, let me know if you have any questions. All these questions up here will also be listed on your Google Classroom assignment. So hope you are well and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.